Hello and welcome to Farming Simulator 17. I'm Andy and Well firstly I'm sorry about my voice. I have a terrible cold or my sore throat. My, I have a sore throat. It's terrible yeah, it sucks. But mostly I'm sort of heartbroken because I was sitting here, I'm recording this on a Sunday, Sunday morning. And uh, it's a it's the, it's the morning of the day where the Swedish general election is. And yesterday, my 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 grandfather passed away. Uh, he passed away at the age of ninety-five, so he had a really long life, and I'm really happy about it. He had a good life. My grandmother passed away in nineteen ninety-one, so at the age of sixty-eight. That wasn't fair. Uh, my grandpa, he hung in there. And he, well, he passed away of complications. He, he fell a few weeks ago. We thought he was going to die then. He fell and broke his hip. Um, he was too badly injured to even operate uh, in the beginning, but he, he recovered a little bit, they operated him, he got him back to his nursing home where he's lived for the last well, year or so. Um, you never sort of... you never really prepared for it, are you? Even if I, even though I was prepared in a way, I did sort of feel that it would happen. I um, well, I don't really know what to say. It's hard. So I'm dedicating this episode. I'm actually I th was thinking about doing anything at all, but I really wanted to do this. I I'm dedicating this episode to my to my grandfather. We're playing on the Kleinhorn map, and we're doing forestry. Because one of the jobs my grandfather had when he was young, he, he worked for the military most of his life. He drove trucks for the military, but um, one of the jobs he had as a young person was he worked as a lumberjack. I have a picture in my computer, this is scan from no picture, where he's standing in the in the forest. Um, it was heavy work in those days. You didn't have the equipment to do here. You were basically lifting things all the time. And the saws were really heavy and everything was heavy. So he was quite butch, well-trained, muscular in, this pic in that picture. It's kind of cool. Um, but we're going to do it. I guess we're going to do it this way. But... So this will be sort of a different style episode, I'm guessing, or it is going to be a different style episode. We're gonna go and see if I. I need to impact. I, if you looked at yesterday's episode, you need, or the episode I did on the Pacific in lock in the logging, you know I need to practice this. Um. So here. You he worked for the Swedish army most of his career, or at least as long as I remember. I think he had other jobs too, but he was a civilian employee, and he, I think they called it service man or something. He, he drove trucks. Um, it's quite a character. He, I mean, he was. 
They didn't really. I wonder if I can push this in here. It was quite a character, but a fun character. I mean, he had quite fond memories of. Well, it seemed terrible when I think about it, but my sister and my cousin, they, they're about the same age and they used to trick him with stuff. <laughs> One time they bought a, you know, a fake poo. So, you know, that looks like a poo, but it's fake. They bought one of those and they, we, we used to spend our summers at uh, our, my grandma's, uh, where my grandma grew up, her house. She had that after her parents, and so we and and they didn't have that was a place they they didn't have running water or anything. Uh, they had electricity but no running water there. So there was this the toilet was uh, I don't know what it's called in English but it's like an outside thing. You have to go to the house outside and, and go to the toilet there. So they in the, what this fake poo. My my sister and my cousin, and they was going to trick my grandpa. So the they they placed it sort of on the side of. Oh, damn it! They placed it on the side of. On the side of the. Uh, well, this like um, thing you sit on, with a big it was just a wooden thing when you sit on, and then a hole with a lid you took off to lift the lid, and then you could sit on it and poop down the hole. And they put it on the side of the this, this tree, um, wooden thing, so it looked like someone missed the hole and pooped on the the platform basically. And uh, so, <laughs> and the, the the idea was that that gram pa would uh, sort of freak out of course being a, quite a sensible and um, oh, I, I think it was pretty old by then too I mean old but he was in the 60s maybe um, he basically just looked at it and, and took a piece of paper and threw it down the hole <laughs> which was like not what they had counted on him doing because they paid some money for that thing and they wanted to reuse it so they were like, "Oh no, damn it!" So they were. He firstly it didn't work as a way of freaking. Him out. I don't know if they want to freak. I think they want to freak him out, but it didn't work. And then, basically, <laughs> someone had to <laughs> stick the whole hand down the hole uh, to get get it out. But it wasn't a real part of plan either. But that was kind of fun. So that's one of those memories. I have so much memories of my grandfather. It's weird. I can't. I mean, we saw him. No, we didn't see him summer this summer because it was so bad. It was bad, and we didn't want. I didn't want to stain my last memory of him by seeing him when he was in bad shape. So wrong or right, I don't know. That's the way I did it, and. Um, not good. Can't get it out more, no? I guess I have to push it in. This one I think we can push in. Um, well, I don't know, I have so much, it's interesting, I mean, as I said, I lost my grandmother in 1991, and she was sort of the person that kept the whole family together, we're quite a, not a big family, we're quite a small family, but we always hung out, especially in summers and that sort of stuff, uh, and she, she was the nexus, the person, we call it nexus in my line of work, she was the person that kept it all together, 
uh, grandfather wasn't really, but uh, when she passed away, it sort of changed. Not, not. I mean, I'm not saying it's bad. I'm, I'm saying that's the way things are. I think we're gonna go into this. I'm not saying it's bad, I'm just saying that's the way it is. Um, things change. And we didn't meet as much as we used to. So I just re and yesterday I told my fiance that we are getting to the age where we meet our relatives at funerals. We're getting there, which is odd. I've only, only been to one uh, funeral before, and that was my grandmother been sp sort of spared from death as a concept. The concept sounds weird, but if you understand what I'm s trying to say. It wasn't really, I mean, sometimes people sort of are old. I, I don't, never thought of grandpa as old in that sense, mostly because he he, well, he, I guess he was old. I mean, but he was never like old is as in I don't want to do stuff or try stuff out. It's more like old in, in the sense that, yes, the, the number of his age, basically. Just wanted to get that out of the way. Um, So as I said, he wasn't really old in the sense that he was didn't want to try things. I remember when he got an, a, cell, a cell phone the first time. It was like, okay, so he got the cell phone. And that was it. Never like thought it was weird or anything. He just thought it was okay. I have a phone, cell phone I can carry around. Good. So he did that. And <laughs> he was always. I he drove a car until I think just before he turned ninety or so. So he he was. He had he had it really fun. It was a terrible thing to ride with him because he 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 had he'd driven big, 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 big trucks all of his, most of his career. And he sort of <laughs> that was he drove he had this really I remember he had this really small Renault Five, which he drove basically like if it like it was a big, eighteen wheeler, like twenty four meter long truck <laughs> which was close <laughs> was like you were we we was i remember sitting in the back back seat and we were like bouncing around like 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 ball just like bouncing around when he was turning and he, he every time he he on, on old trucks before they had synchronized gearboxes they had to double shift and double uh, do uh, press the clutch twice before it uh, was it like press it and then we put it in neutral and press it and put it in gear so um and i think uh, so he did that he, with his small car they had synchronized i mean gears a long time but this big some of the big trucks he drove in his work weren't synchronized so that was kind of funny i hear good story we did did we did I'm, I'm glad we've done a lot of stuff we have talked a lot about what he, he is growing up and i asked him things and dad asked him things so there's lots of things written down on on how his life was he was one of i think nine or ten pe kids i think his mom left took one of the kids and left so he pretty much grew up with his dad which is weird for his he was born in 1923 uh, his dad was, uh, and in those days, before the police was nationalized, they had persons that were thought as to be good people. They were pointed to being basically policemen, so, but they did other stuff too. So his dad was that. I don't think that... Did. We're gonna do with the in 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 one in game one, not in game not in game. Do it with this. Um, 
so he grew up i know he <laughs> once told me how he got his driver's license which is so so funny today it's a, you know a hassle but it, it takes a bit of work to get it but he he got i'm just gonna talk to my son a little bit but, uh, first i'm gonna tell the story um he basically drove he had to go to one of the guys who the person who in the local local society where he lived uh, appointed got gave, gave you your driver's license so he g had to go there and he the ba the thing that happened he lived in a quite a big house and, and there was like a big space outside the house <coughs> or where you and sort of think like a mansion where you sort of can drive up to and then there's something in the middle so basically he drove there and uh, this man gentleman came out on this on the stairs or entrance and he he watched my grandfather drive one lap around this yard and then he got his driver's license that was the whole process <laughs> i was i had to drive like half an hour with an inspector when i got my driver's license and um, i'm not saying things were better before but they were different they certainly were different I'm saying I'm gonna change this hook, this uh, gravel hook, to back to the way it was before I modded it, but I keep forgetting it. Even get up. Ah, that was a mess. I think we'll start with this one. Oh, that was nice. I did not plan on that. I'm, I'm saying I'm, I did not plan on that. Just for record. Um. So lots of time. I've been around all the places where he grew up. He grew up in quite a lot of places. Moved about a bit. Uh, oh, that was the thing. Um, he was. Uh, last time we met him, I took my kids. He had a, a bit of dementia, but not a lot, but a bit of it. And we took our kids, which he remembered. He remembered us that day. So that's nice. Um, I have a nice last memory of my grandfather. And. Um, we looked at the picture. He has a picture of him and his his, his siblings. But none of his siblings lived. He was the last one. That's that's he he outlived all of his siblings. He was the only one that's blessed. He had he got to see his three kids growing up. And he got to see them have their own kids. And he got to see them have. He got. He got to see. So he got to see his grandkids. And see how many grandkids did Grandpa have, have here? He had. We were three. And then we found four cousins. So he got to see seven grandkids. He got to see his seven grandkids have kids of their own. So he had <laughs> so, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> so I have two kids. My sister have three kids. My my brother has two kids, so just from my family have he had I don't know if you say great grandkids or not but he had yeah I can't count <laughs> so I had seven great grandkids there my my cousin has Marcus has three kids so we the three so it's ten my cousin Magnus has two no has one daughter so 11 my cousin 
Christian has one daughter, so that's 12. And my cousin Caroline, she has three kids, so 12, 15. So, because he has three kids, he's seven grandkids and 15 grand great grandchildren. So, I guess he had a really good life. I'm gonna go and hug my kids or something. This has been a quite a different episode. But I really wanted to do this. <laughs> As a way to remember my grandfather and sort of honor his memories in some in some way. I'm sorry for the different episode. I don't know, maybe I shouldn't have done this, but I really wanted to do it. And everything else just doesn't seem as important today. Anyway. I'm Andy. This has been Let's Play on the Hofberg, not Hofberg, the Kleiner map, sorry. Farming. An episode dedicated to my grandfather. He passed away yesterday. And we'll see what we'll do tomorrow. I don't know. If you like this channel, please subscribe. If you like this episode, do whatever you like. I don't know. It's not important. You can do whatever you want. Just take care of the people you love. The people that are important in your life. Honor their memory. Hang with them when they're alive. One day they won't be there. We won't be there. So, I still hope you have a great day, everyone out there. Take care. Promise me to take care of each other. Bye-bye.